What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Let's go and let's get it, man. We got podcast and chill up on that with Mac G. Let's go and let's get it. South Africa, biggest podcast. Simple as that. South Africa, number one podcast, y'all. Let's go and let's get it. And this is a throwback. I said a throwback. Episode 36, man. This is a scoop episode. All you guys, a lot of you guys been re- asking me to re- get to this one, man. So I'm excited to get to it. Simple as that, man. So I'm about to shut up, y'all. We about to dig right into it, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. I hope everybody having a blessed day. Get ready to have a blessed night. And Len Moleko. All the way from the motherland to America. Let's right, go. Let's to get it. Another it. episode of Podcast and Chilling. Um, chilling with like juice. Dude, you're like probably one of the coolest presenters of our generation. Oh, thank you so much. I don't take that lightly. I'll definitely take that compliment. Where Back in the day, I used to be very weird about compliments and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but now, yeah, man, I really appreciate it. And thank you because you are one of the most talented broadcasters yeah. our country also has. Yeah. So shout outs, my dude. Yeah. So on my way here, I was trying to count how many TV shows you've been on. Oh! <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I don't even want to go. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. And like, what did you start? Street Journal. I started Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk. Which one was it? The basketball show. Mm. That's actually what that's what all y'all been asking me to get to. So I definitely gonna have to get to it. Simple as that. Let's go. Let's get it, man. So Scoop really like him. You know what I'm saying? He said, I counted the shows and shit. I had to stop. Like, he is you on so many of them, man. So, we got to, man. I love this shit, man. Podcast and chill. I appreciate all the chillers, man. Y'all just opening so many more pipelines for me in the motherland. So many more different people I got to dig up on, get information on. A lot of work to be done, man. Simple as that. But I'm about to shut up. Y'all let this nigga talk too much. But let's go. Let's get it. General. I started Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk, which one was it? The basketball show. Mm. That's actually where I started. I started as a commentator there. Mm. And then they said, no man, you must come present the show and move to being on screen. Mm. You dress the part, you know the game, you talk the game. Uh, So do that. Then I moved to Cape Town and presented. Mm. Um, And then after that, uh, Choburg, Street Journal, Black Rage, Maria, Zeno and Tuli saw me and they were like, yo, we need that energy on this show. And I was actually a, a avid watcher of Street Journal. Is it? And when I got the call to do that, I was very happy. So that's when I came to Joburg 2006. And then it's oh, been, he a, been a, in the game. Of, yeah. of shows. Your recent show that I like is Vusu Daso. Oh, yeah, 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 that was that dope. Show, man. That was dope. I, mean, I was actually mad I never did the first season. Oh, yeah? I didn't understand why I didn't do that. Sometimes you never understand with these companies how they make their decisions. Yeah. But uh, the the third season was was really, really dope. Uh, shout outs to the people that made that happen. Me and my baby mama love that show. Always with yeah. Dude. yeah, man. It, really, cool, it man. really is cool, man, for our kids to yeah. be able to do such a thing. And look at the, the names that have come mm. out of it, you know? Mm, mm. Shane, Manu, Worldstar. I'm still waiting for Flex Rabanyana to really take his position in this game but it's that whole syndrome of whoever wins you know that whole thing yeah i know exactly what you mean yeah. i know exactly what you mean Yo, explain to me what is that thing then it's, whoever it's, wins? it's just a jinx it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the winner's jinx you know mm. because what happens when someone wins a competition they get all this publicity and they they they, they really neglect the hustle mm. and the person that doesn't which win, is the true essence of why they can't exactly, exactly. Mm. Even um um um, I was talking to Sal. Hey, and that's free game, man. Don't forget why and what got you to the point you at in life. That hard work, that grit, that grind, man. For real, no matter where you at, man. Even though they talk about celebrities in the event, but I'm just saying. And they 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 really neglect the hustle. Mm. And the person that doesn't, which win, is the true essence of why they can't exactly. Mm. exactly. Even um um um, I was talking to Celeste Ndoli, the comedian. Yeah. She was telling me the story of Fanta. So you think you're funny. Her and Pop Pops never won. She was number three and Pop Pops was number two. The lady that won is nowhere to be found. And don't you know her name. one's killing it. I don't even know her name. Do you know her name? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So exactly. Up, yeah. Jinx, my nigga. Uh, one thing that, that I love about nigga. you, though, is like when you view life in a different lens to everybody else, you know? And I like that about you, man, because I like people that have different opinions from what is the norm, you know? Okay. Well, where do you think you got that from, bro? Uh, I'm a very spiritual person. Mm. I Amen always uh, have grown up in a, a very spiritual and cultural household. My mom's Christian, Roman Catholic. My dad is just cultural. And even though I grew up in PE, the way they raised us was so free. Mm. They allowed us to make up our own minds. They allowed us. I don't mean to butt in, but what do you mean, uh, even though I grew up in PE? Uh, let me know. Drop that in the comments for me. Appreciate you. And. Even though I grew up in PE, the way they raised us was so free. 
They allowed us to make up our own minds. They allowed us to make mistakes. They allowed us to develop our characters. And that's definitely where I get it from. And also, I think as a guy, I'm a bit more highly emotionally intelligent mm. because I grew up with three sisters and I didn't grow up with dudes. Mm. So a lot of things sometimes when I see dudes and the way they they see things is very testosterone driven. Um, and I never had that because mm. women definitely have a certain way of viewing life. They are life givers. So obviously the maternal instinct makes them see the real in stuff. And I definitely adopted that from my mother and then my three sisters. So they, at any given time, there were four women in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I, definitely that, I, I, I have to, I have to, have to. I'm sure it was crazy when it was that time of the month. That's crazy because I never, ever experienced that. <laughs> I only really knew right? about parents when I started dating a girl. <laughs> like, but how come when I'm home, I never get through this? And you must understand that with women... Periods when they live together, they sink. Yeah, they yeah. have them at the same time. Yeah. But I never, I never even saw a tampon or a pad, guys. The thing is, you're not smashing your sisters. That's why you see. I guess you, but I mean, I, I, the stuff I have to see it. Yeah, the yeah. bathroom. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. The, I mean, sometimes the, the stuff doesn't get flushed properly. <laughs> I never even saw that. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I actually, when I was older, I went to them. I'm like, guys, you guys can keep a damn secret. Yeah, like, yeah. Like y'all never told me about this until until I started waxing girls. Oh, uh, do you think uh, the the the, the, the <laughs> he said until I started waxing girls for <laughs> some It's just how he said it, y'all. My bad. Me about this until until I started waxing girls. Well, do you think uh, the, the 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 weed that you consume has to do with like how you think? Because I, I don't smoke weed that much, mm. but whenever I do, like I just feel yeah, I, I feel like in touch with the yeah. world. Like I see things differently, yeah. but then I get paranoid, and that's when I stop. I, feel you. <laughs> I never get paranoid. Yeah, the weed definitely has an effect culturally. When my dad tells me what it's about and what it does. And also now you're no dead. Way. School gen weed. Yeah, I smoked my first blunt with my dad. You kidding? Yeah, man. Fucking hell. So I never saw it as a taboo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I came in very open about it as yeah, well. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And so even now, when I when I research the THC and what uh, what the the chemical components of weed, mm. you know, and what it does to your body, I also take mushrooms and acid. Mushrooms. Yeah, those things are amazing. What? Psychedelics. Not in the stupid, like mushrooms and acid, you can't take going to the club. Mm. I know some people do those things, but it's things that you take in nature. My dude, it will change your life. No you know, way. I'm, That's crazy. I got a, uh, my dude Kane, one of my white boys at work, man. One of my dudes, man, he's been telling me, he, this, he said the same exact thing what he said, but I am scared. I don't want to do it. I'm scared, but he said, it's a, it's a, he said, be around some people you love and nature like he said, it changes. Like, I ain't promoting this at all. But if you do, do not be at the club and not to be around some people you love. Make sure you got the right stuff and things like that. But I'm just saying, since we're talking about it, I'm just saying. My dude, he said it, it will change like your life. No, oh, I'm oh, telling oh, you, oh, dude, oh, I'm oh, telling oh, you, it will nigga. change your life. Like mushrooms, oh, nigga, but if oh, you even God. hear a person's voice, you... You not you just want to hear wind, you want to hear the sea, and you want to look at sunlight and trees. You take them in the forest, you take them in the beach, and you just you my nigga. I feel like heavy drugs. They're not even drugs. Yeah. They're not even addictive. Yeah. You can't take. See, that's crazy. That's how I'm. I'm feel like man. Ain't they like heavy drugs? I'm like what? That's crazy. My nigga. I feel the, like heavy drugs. They're not even drugs. Yeah. They're not even addictive. Yeah. You can't take mushrooms today and take mushrooms again tomorrow. Mm, mm. And the, I mean, the high, it's not even a high. I call it a state of consciousness. Mm. It, 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 it lasts for hours, like eight hours. Because I remember a few friends of mine, um, like, some white boys, mm, they into mushrooms, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so there's like four of them. They're like, yo, dude, uh, we're about to do some mushrooms. I'm like, I know me. I don't fuck around with that shit. Sure. <laughs> Like, yo, dude, please can you leave because you're going to fuck up with that high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you with mushrooms, you're very susceptible to energies. For me, when I take mushrooms, I don't want to see a human mm. and I don't want to hear a human's voice because you can, you can hear the evil. What? I'm serious. You can hear if, if this person is evil. You, if I sit next to a human being, I can feel the, the energy. energy and the vibe. Yeah, and that's when like being around nature, nature is the most holy thing on this earth. Like trees, flowers, the wind, water, rivers, 
all these things because they don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't have they don't have sex. They mm. not they not um, they have a life force that is not um, perverted yeah. by life. It's a life force that still is. A, that's why being close to Crazy. nature raises your frequency mm. because these things are animals. They are exactly as God made them. That life force isn't perturbed by the food they eat, hmm. by the drinking of the liquor. It's organic. It's, it's, it's organic as it was hmm. back then. Hey. I mean, tree, hey, a tree can be out here for a thousand years. It can't speak, but the knowledge of that tree is in there, mm. and you can access that knowledge. You can access information in sunlight. You can access information in the world. It's all a system of information Shit, and frequencies. Dude. You make me want to do mushrooms, bro. We should. <laughs> We definitely should. I, I can't even handle weed, dog. Ah, you, don't worry. <laughs> You'll be all right. Uh, what else have you done? You've done acid? I've, I've done, done acid. Acid, so oh, acid is amazing. How is that like? Same thing, like mushroom is on trillion. Mm. I was on trillion. First. Tell okay. me about the first time you did Hey, he said on trillion. Going up to what? We uh, what else have you done? You've done acid? I've, I've done, done acid. Acid, so acid is amazing. How is that like? Same thing, like mushroom is on trillion. Mm. So I was scared with first. it. Tell me about the first time you did it. The first time I did acid, I literally saw God. The first time I no saw, way. Shows, I saw God. God. I actually tweeted that. I was in Kirstenbosch in Cape Town. And I took him and I walked up. And I kid you not, bro. I just, the sun was shining through the trees. And there was a river like flowing underneath me. And I was with people. And I literally told these people, guys, I can feel and I can see God. And I, I cried. Wow. You know, I laid out on the floor and I just cried because I could see and feel how I've been distant from a true life force wow. that wants nothing to do but to take care of me, you know, and it changed my life. Like I totally changed the way I think, the way I eat and everything else that I do mm. after that experience. I was always scared of acid mm. because, you know, having a bad trip, you, people, you hear that people have jumped out of windows mm. or they've, you know, had car accidents and yeah. stuff. Right, uh, right, but I right. did get the guys to do it. And apparently, depending on the acid that you take, sometimes it stays in your vertebrae, in your, in your, in your, in your system, yeah. and it can come back and trigger you. Yeah. But uh, While you're on air. I can never say, <laughs> I can never, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. And then, and then what about like coke and stuff? What's I've never difference? done coke. What's the difference between coke and acid? I've never done coke. Mm. Um, though I've never done coke. I've never done pills. Mm. I've yeah, tried yeah, yeah. ecstasy. Mm. Yeah. Um, I've tried MDMA, mm. which were great for sex. Mm. Like as, when I wanted, when I was dealing with, like if I meet a girl that is like totally dope and I just wanted to make an impression on her sexually, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I did do that once or twice. But wow. that's like when you're clubbing, because most of these yeah. kids like a truth in them, they're all popping yeah. that shit. Yeah, but I never used it for clubbing because I've already got so much energy. Mm -hmm. I really used it to fuck the girl and make her, like, remember me. <laughs> like, damn, nigga, where, where did you get that? <laughs> So, but I, I just didn't agree with. Hey, he, wow! Hey, I gotta do it off the muscle. I'm sorry, I never tried none of these drugs, but I'm gonna keep doing it off the muscle though. That's wild, though. <laughs> this nigga said, "Damn, nigga, where did you, where did you get that?" <laughs> so, but I, I just didn't agree with me. Um, and so two times was enough. Yeah, really. and it was all in Durban. Because you know Durban mm, is yeah, that place. Yeah, yeah. Um, but cocaine, I've never done cocaine. And everybody thinks I've done. I've done coke. Yeah. Apparently, cocaine is like an ego drug. Mm. Um, so, and that is a drug, mm. you know. Mm. With other the psychedelics, they really worshiping tools. Yeah. The tools that some almost take mushrooms. They put them in. You fucking kidding? Yeah, shamans, red, uh, red Indians shamans use it a lot. There's something else called DMT, which is the substance that gets released from your brain when you die. It's the substance that allows you to have that flash of your life. In your in your mind, yeah. So DMT is that, but it's a root actually. All the every all of these things are actually existent in the world already. Mm. It's just that you take them from the earth with the plants, mm. and then they imbalance. Even cocaine is a plant. Yeah, it's a plant. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. poppy leaf. So it used to be in Coca Cola in the beginning. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. So there's there's um there's that, and there's uh, another one called ayahuasca. These are things that like will open up your mind and it will Fuck. let you see the world. Mm. And this is why the American government 
was adamant that people mustn't take these things. Because after you take these things, you see the fuckery mm. in the shit they're doing to us. And they don't want you to see they that. They don't want you to see that. Yeah. They don't want you to see that. Because my thing is, if they don't want drugs so bad, why don't they just regulate them? And which they're doing now, they're getting money from this weed. Yeah, you know. Uh, you know, so even the weed, the weed they're doing now is drugs. All the fertilizers, all the, the things to strengthen it. I've stopped smoking higher grade uh Indoor grown with light weed, and I'm starting to go back to organic mm. greenhouse weed because uh, my dad was like, It's not good, this weed. It, it actually does the opposite of what it's supposed to do because it's got so many chemicals and it's not supposed to be like that. My here's my thing with all these drugs, right? Why I'm scared to do them because, mm. um, like, my only drug is alcohol, right? Yeah, I fuck with alcohol, sure. Uh, but with alcohol, even when I'm drunk at times, I feel like I'm still you in can control. control. I yeah. can control. Yeah. But when I'm high, like it just takes me to a place where I don't want to go, bro. Like I feel I don't feel in control. Mm -hmm. So I'm scared. That's how I feel we'll reverse it with the alcohol, man. That's that's crazy. <laughs> Even when I'm drunk at times, I feel like I'm still you in can control. control. I yeah. can control. Yeah. Yeah. But when I'm high, like it just takes me to a place where I don't want to go, bro. Like I feel I don't feel in control. Mm -hmm. So I'm scared. Like, I love not being in control. Alcohol. I love free falling. You know, I love floating. And that's why I loved weed, because I just felt like I was literally in my body, in my mind, just going to every corner, like, oh wow, what's that? Okay. <laughs> that's how I feel when I'm stoned. Yeah. And I used it a lot to to plan my movements in order to get to where I am. For real. I used, I, I would smoke, then get ideas and write them down and how I would dress, mm -hmm. how to separate myself aesthetically, how to separate myself with my speech. I used weed a lot in my early days so I could map out a way to be different from everybody else. Mm, which you've done that to the yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. And I still... Uh, and now I actually do smoke. Smoke less than I used to. How, how, many, I, how many bloods do you smoke a week? A week? I was Probably a day is about six. Shit. Six joints a day. That's more joints than me in a year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do six bloods. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I love weed. I really wow. do. I actually am smoking less now mm. because... I don't need to solve as many things mm. now. You're content. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I really am. But I definitely am looking to go on my next mushroom trip very, very soon. And I want to do it in Port Elizabeth, where I'm from. I've never taken them there. Yeah. I've taken them in Durban. I've taken them in Cape Town. But I definitely want to do it in Port Elizabeth. What, what other drugs are nice with sex? I don't know. Mm. I've only I've only tried MDMA and ecstasy. I mean, mm. everybody will tell you that those things are amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sex. Shit, yeah, man, I feel like I've been missing out, dude. There's a whole <laughs> other world. There is a whole other world out there. Oh, but you don't want to... I mean, the whole drug shit, world. I really don't condone it. Mm. I'm really not for it. Yeah. Especially with the pills and stuff. Um, and also the lean. I, uh, I, I drank lean once and I literally fainted. What? Like, it was the one time that I tried it because of my curious ass mind. Mm. And I literally fainted. And I was like, I'm never doing this shit. It's not for you. Definitely no. not. Mm. You know? Um, so drugs, no. But do, do do your natural stuff. Do your do your psychedelics. Crazy shit that's in the heaven. Smart, man. Oh, are you high? Free game. Like, free what game. What the fuck is this? Apart from meeting God. Yeah, that's that was it, man. Yeah. It was meeting God. Mm. That was it. I still remember that day pretty clearly. And I actually went on my tweet and I said, guys, I took mushrooms today and I literally saw God. That's crazy. He was tripping, tripping. No, they'd be like, you gonna trip or let's take you on a trip. He was for real tripping, tripping. That's crazy. Then I understood why they didn't want us to, to take this shit, you know? Did you read the comments? What were people saying in the comments? Ah, you know people, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, cool man. Listen, yeah. uh, let's talk about hip hop, dude. Everybody yes, knows you love hip hop. What did yes, you sir. first love in uh, hip hop? What did you f first fall in love with it? I was in primary school. Mm. We were on a bus because all the kids had to take the same bus. And um, black privilege. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my sister, my middle sister Azola, um, she was in high school, and so the high school people sat at the back, and we were sitting in the front. The primary school kids. But I also have a cousin. His name is Slice, so he's actually a radio jock on Mshobo Wenene as we speak. So Lomjita had an LP in his hand. Yeah. So I always used to please describe what an LP is. For a vinyl. Guys. <laughs> a vinyl. The big square thing, guys, that gets played with a needle. That thing. 
I, we will, you will, he'll cut away to, to a vinyl uh, in the interview. So this, so I always were, I was used to the vinyls because my dad, I saw them with my father. And I was always interested in the artwork of vinyls as well. But my dad's artwork, uh, my dad's vinyls was obviously mature people. So when I saw my cousin, Uslaiso, holding this vinyl, it had this guy with a camo hat with rings and chains and a tracksuit and it was LL Cool J. Wow. Mama said knock you yeah. out. Okay. At that time I didn't know. But then I was like, but my dad's my dad has these And hey, that's crazy, man. I just gotta pivot in there, man. L Cool J, Lady Love, Cool J. That's my mama's favorite artist, man. So that's we can relate, man. What y'all know about L Cool J? Let's go. Suit. And it was LL Cool J. Wow. Mama cool said J. knock you yeah. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. At that time I didn't know. But then I was like, but my dad, my dad has these things, but old people are on the covers. Mm. Who was this young guy? Mm. And now that I, now, and now that I know, he was sixteen at the time. I remember that cover. You know what I mean? Wasn't it red? It was red. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I was like, yo. Then they, he walked me home because I was so interested in this thing, and I said to him, I want to play it and hear it. So then we played it, and that was the first time I was like. Mama said, knock you out. Oh, my nine is easy to love. Hey. Oh, damn it. I was like, yo, yep. I, I, the bug yeah. hit me. And ever since then, I've been on hip hop. Were you high or were you sober? Were you... I was in primary school. I only touched weed. Uh, my first time I smoked was when, you know, when uh, Tosa niggas go to the bush? Uh, uh. And then, that's the day you're going out. Oh, the boom. so the day before you don't sleep. Mm. So the day before, um, my dad. So you've been to the mountains. I've been to the mountains. Yeah, and that's what you're the saying. club. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> my dick pretty. <laughs> Peel back. Top off. You understand me? Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, cause he got gay scoop, so he said, Peel back. Top wall, flat stop, man. I've been to the mountains. So that's what it is, man. I hope, man, all the mans in the chat, man. I hope y'all been to the mountains, man. We just gonna keep it a billy over here, man. We gonna keep it real, man. I hope y'all been to the mountains, man. Simple as that. Hey, we gotta run that back. He said, peel back. Top off. <laughs> Ain't no turtlenecks around here. Let's go. Mm. So the day before um, oh, um, oh, um, My dad so was been to the mountains I've been to the mountains yeah. And that's what Just the club yes, sir. <laughs> My dick pretty <laughs> Peel back Top off You understand me? Hey, scoop so that's when, that's when I, that's when I smoked for the first time With my dad Before um, Puma, And then I knew Oh that's him. dope Hey he's that like real nigga Let's go Let's go That's some father Father son moment He remember it to this day And that's how you supposed to do it Right Hey hold on Hey one more time bro Cause he's silly though One more, one more time <laughs> My dick pretty <laughs> Peel back Top off Y'all understand me yes, You understand me <laughs> So yeah. that's when that's when I that's when I smoked for the first time with my dad before Um Puma, and then oh, I knew shit. that I was gonna do this forever. Then I didn't smoke for a long time, so I was like eighteen then. Then I didn't smoke for a long time, and I only touched weed again when I was like twenty three. So here's this LL Cool J guy, you vibing, and then what happens? Where does it take you from there? And then, and then I was like, oh shit, what is this? So Slicer, who was an avid hip hop guy at the time, I was like, I got a lot more of the shit if you're mm. into it. Mm. Then N.W.A. came my way. Mm. And I was so fascinated about these guys saying, bitch, fuck, ho. Who made N.W.A.? Uh, it was literally Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, bro. Nah, but they the guy that put the attitude in those mm. niggas was Easy e mm. mm. With that voice of his. The, the, and the guy that put the attitude in them niggas was Easy e Yeah, he facts, though. Yeah. Uh, it was literally Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, bro. Nah, but they the guy that put the attitude in those mm, niggas was Easy E, mm, mm. with that voice of his, mm. and he actually lived the life. Mm, mm, you know mm, what I mean? Mm, mm. The the words were written for him, but he lived mm, the fucking life. Mm, mm. Um, so after N.W.A., I was like, God damn, this is. It was better than watching an action movie. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And what I loved about hip hop because at the time in South Africa, you never saw successful black men. Yeah. So you saw all this gold, the dress code, the cars, the cars. Mm, You're like, man, I want some of this in my life, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then after that, DMX came along, Tupac before DMX, you know. 
Oh man, it, that's it, when it, I was starting to get introduced my to hip hop. That shit changed my first song I ever life, heard bro. was Dear Mama. Dear Mama. Yeah, that changed my life, bro. Yeah. I was like, damn, every, this guy is amazing. Yeah. yeah, is amazing. Every and then locally, world. locally, I was a huge fan of Mischief. Mm. I remember seeing Mischief for the first time, and I was like, damn, this nigga is nice. I was a huge fan of Double H P. Yeah. You know, the I was a huge team, fan man. of Proverb. Ah, I remember I was to my ex, my dude. I was my, remember when he used to compete in the in the rhyme battles when Fat Joe was still doing the drive show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in tertiary at the time, uh, doing basketball. So I used to be at the gym trying to get bulkier because I was such a small guy. And that's when I first heard Proverb. They used to play that show, uh, Yaga Fat Joe, on the regular. And he used to have the rap battle where if he won, he'd stay on and take on the next contender. Yeah. And Proverb stayed on for like six, Shit. six weeks, if I, if it's not six months. You know, this guy was killing it. And yeah. that's when he got the job. Then he came to Joburg. Mm. And then he got a job at, at Metro FM as well. Yeah. He started producing. I also remember Specs. I also remember... Um, Dukes, I'm sure. Dukes Singanga, definitely. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but <laughs> fuck. I love the acrobatics that he was doing with his tongue, you yeah, know. And yeah. I love the fact that he was uh, real to his language. Mm. Uh, I remember the first time I heard Cuesta... Hey. Uh, petting, petting the man is really daycare. Yeah. I remember that line. Uh, it was great. And also, to me, T from the V. Yeah. I remember seeing him in Durban at a place called the Bat Center. And after his show, I was like so mesmerized by this guy. I'm like, how the fuck mm. do you do this? Mm. And then, and he was sitting on a bench, hey, just y'all. taking it. Off. I know I can look it up right now, but I want y'all to let me know in the comments. Oh, scoops, man. For real, man. I'm gonna look it up at the video, but shit, please let me know, man. How long is this in care? For him to just give this history lesson, man, from all rappers over here to America to the rappers over there in the motherland, man. He's just taking it back. So he been in the mix for a minute, man. Simple as that, y'all. Let's go and let's get it done. Olin, uh, de sweaterizing himself. And then I walked up to him like, yo, dog, like one day I'm gonna be a good friend of yours just because you do this thing so well and I admire you. And I always tell him the story because yeah. now we're actually good friends. I emceed his wedding. Wow. And he's like, yeah, man. And he's like, yo. And it, for me, I always knew the power of words mm. and I always knew the power of thought yeah. because it always happened. Mm. The things I thought always happened. The things I said always happened. Mm. So shout out to the hip hop artist, man. Hey, y'all hear that, man? Hold on, hold on, man. He always knew the power of words, the power of thoughts, man. Believing it, manifesting it, but it all started up here, man. That's why if y'all I ain't said it in a while, man. But it all started up here. You gotta know you gotta win. You gotta know the victory start there, man. Then you gotta have the courage and do it, man. That's where the VC come from, man. You gotta have the vision. You gotta have that thought and know you gonna win. Why? Cause failure is not an option. Simple as that, y'all. My bad. It been a while since y'all heard me say that. But let's go and let's get it. His wedding. Wow. And he's like, yeah, man. And he's like, yo. And it, for me, I always knew the power of words. Mm. And I always knew the power of thought. Yeah. Because it always happened. Mm. The things I thought always happened. The things I said always happened. Yeah. So, shout out to the hip-hop artist, man. Squada. Fuck. How can we forget Squada camp? Yeah. Kuku function. Yeah, yeah. You know the rao rao. Yeah. Damn, that shit was crazy. I, I got late because of Squada camp. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Squatter camp. I ain't, remember, I, was, I think I, I was ain't, at. Uh, I ain't really been messing with the videos, but Squatter camp sound like a throwback, man. Y'all let me know which one of them bangers I need to check out. Sip for that, cause he brought up double HP. You know your boy love double HP. It's a lot of video proverbs. Let it to my ex. All them videos already done, man. Go check them out if you haven't, man. Simple as that. Let's go and let's get it. Rancho, remember when YFM used to do those shows at the Rancho? Mm. During Easter, I think. Mm. And then Squad was on and they played yeah, Tap That remember, Ass. I remember. Come on, I'll Tap yeah, That yeah, Ass. Yeah, I, I was there for that yeah. Rancho. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was there. So that's, that's the one I reacted to. to. <laughs> Showcase <laughs> and attack. Hey, that's the one I reacted to. Right there. Simple as that. 2152, so I remember to get back to this. Yeah, tap yeah, That yeah, Ass. I remember. Come on, I'll Tap yeah, That yeah, Ass. Yeah, yeah. I, I was there. That ranch, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was dead. So I was with the high, and then I'm like, hey, <laughs> showcase, <laughs> and you tap <laughs> straight up, nice dog. Swat. straight up, man. So, how do you think it's evolved from like when you started listening to local hip hop to now? Obviously, we can see that all these guys are making way more money, mm. you know. Mm. It's crazy because when we say it is evolved, I personally don't think it has evolved. Mm. Why is that? Why is that? Tell me why. I think it is hard for 
a South African hip hop artist to be South African in the hip hop art. Mm. And there is a, a double there's 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 you know there's a dichotomy involved because we're obviously influenced by America. Yeah. Kotwa Sinawama Bali way too and we've got our own language. And shout outs to dudes like Abo Cuesta, yeah. shout outs to Abos Java, shout outs to uh, you know a lot of the dudes that are kicking it in the vernacular. Uh I am I do think we make good music. I do think though that it's going to be increasingly hard to maintain a South African identity after your Questas and your Caspers yeah. and your Double HP. It's I gonna agree. be very hard. And for me, the identity thing Which is sad because we've got so much culture. Exactly. Dude. Like Americans don't have culture, bro. No. They don't have anything. And also we gotta blame the audience. I blame the audience for some of this shit because they We really don't, man. Niggas be just playing copycat over here, man. They do what the next person did, man. Y'all artists have so much unique cultures, just this in the videos and just so much swag and it's just y'all different, man. And that's what makes South Africa and the motherland unique, man. Simple as that, man. And niggas don't even know they sleeping on y'all. Let's go. You gotta blame the audience. I blame the audience for some of this shit because they Consume. So, yeah, and they consume. They want to consume the more Americanized yeah. version of everything. Yeah. Um, it's just sad, man. It's really, really sad. And I'm scared. Even for me, I can understand because when I was young, America looked so enticing. It obviously. Did. It did. But yeah. the older you get. Because that's what they sold us. Yeah. They sold us a dream. They sold us a dream. On right. TV, we're watching American TV shows. All the time. All the time. You yeah. know? We're so never on content. Now that I'm getting older and I've yeah. got a son, yeah. I'm like, yeah. bro, you. You can't be that person. Yeah. You gotta be teaching this kid how to be a South African okay. Hossa man. 100%. You understand? Y'all hear that, man? He said, now that I got a son, I, I had to pivot. I had to move this stuff away. And that's for anybody that's a parent, man. Young or old, man. Hey, if you ain't making the right decision, change. But hey, when you have that kid, that's when you gotta pivot and get serious. I'm older and I've yeah. got a son. Yeah. I'm so like, feel, bro, yeah. you, you can't be that person. Yeah. You gotta be teaching this kid how to be an. South African okay. Hossa man. 100%. You understand? And because um, without that, we have nothing. We have nothing. We have nothing. Definitely. Yeah. I, it's not going to go down like that. Yeah. And shout outs to everybody that's doing anything. I definitely love everybody. I, I know that we need a balance. Mm. We can't have too much of one thing. The only thing we can have too much of is our nativity. Yeah. If we are native and we are too much of that, all good. But we are going to be too much American. We are going to lose a lot. Shit, and we right, also man. coming with culture. The thing of language is so important because which is the totem pole that Kosa people have and Zulu people have where all the ceremonies are done. Even now, when you go see a Sangoma, your old people, your ancestors don't know English. Mm. You can't say, you're my man. <laughs> you can't say, yo, what up, ancestors? Y'all cool, y'all chilling out there. And I do these things. I go talk to a Sangoma. Yeah. I, I, I... I have had, uh, my dad passed away, he channels through a Sangoma, my grandmother, and they tell me how proud they are watching me walk back to who I really am because it was so hard to reach me because I was not. Black people have this thing that makes them brown. It's called melanin. Mm. Melanin is also the substance that makes the soil brown. Mm. Melanin is also in the air. Mm. Melanin is also in water. Melanin also is the first coating of the sperm and the embryo. Wow. Melanin is also the dark matter in space. Shit. Hence why we slaughter. Even in the Bible, in Deuteronomy, and I was a preacher for three years as well. Yeah. The Bible in Deuteronomy, it's a chapter, it's a book that talks about which animals to eat and how to slaughter. Mm. So these instructions come way, 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 way back. Before the time. Old Testament is really the history of black people, to be honest with you. Mm. The New Testament is where the fuckery happens, mm -hmm. where the Roman Catholic Church came into being, which is why the Pope and the Vatican... Hey, man, Scoop is putting out so much game right now. He really giving us the scoop. For real, for real. Like, ain't no cap, man. 
history of black people, to be honest with you. Mm. The New Testament is where the fuckery happens. Mm -hmm. And where the Roman Catholic Church came into being. Which is why the Pope and the Vatican are not to be trusted mm. at all. Mm. They perverted everything. Mm. So that's why black people need to slaughter. And then the blood goes into the ground. And then you pray to the air. And then it hits the cosmos. Mm. Then it comes back to you via sunlight. That's why I was saying there's so much information in mm. sunlight. Mm. In mm. sunlight. Mm. Because sunlight, black people, when you're in the sun, vitamin D helps with your melanin. Mm. White people can't be in the sun for too long. They get skin cancer. Mm. These are the crazy shits that we don't look at and go, hmm. No wonder something's odd here. Mm. No wonder there's a certain race that's Acts. really trying to demean mean us, yeah, and really trying not to find me, not to find my greatness, yeah. Because if know? you find our greatness, it's over. It is it, fucking. It is, and I can tell you now, dog. Like for me, anybody who's coming up against me, you are in trouble, black or white. The amount of information that I have now, the amount of proof of knowledge that I have now, is. Tremendous, and I can I can see that a lot of people are seeing it in my life because a lot of people are saying, "Yo, man, we seeing you change, we seeing you becoming this person." We always knew. You Share some be, of that knowledge, just a little but bit. You, the melanin part is big. Yeah, I like that. Um, I never knew that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it's huge. Mm. That's fast. Um, That's fast. And melanin That's is more than just a color. It's really something that dances to the frequency of the universe. I went to Kurumani. I went to go see, I have not told anybody this, mm. but I might as well tell you guys now. Myself, I pulled Black Coffee along, I pulled Nelson Makamo along, I love Duman Mogolo. We went to go see Credo Mutwa. That was also amazing, mm. the amount of knowledge that he shared with us, uh, being in his sixth stage as well. So the melanin, it's, it's really a frequency. So the earth doesn't understand language. Mm. The earth only understands frequency mm, that's vibes. why your thoughts are very important Jeez. your thoughts become things mm. there's a saying in vanak umlomo uyadala then the secret comes along years later and goes yeah say it into existence mm. these are true honest things and everything that exists that, that white, white people, people have formed religion law mm. de uh, 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 democracy everything that exists was started by us. We were the first people. So everything you see was jacked from you. Mm. There's no such a thing that black people couldn't swim. But they've taken this knowledge. Then they've turned it mm. so much. Even with religion to him in English. Mm. So yes, you're doing the right thing. Yes, you're living in a good way. The only law that you're actually tapping into is the law of karma. Because of you not obeying all these Christian laws... You're not doing anything bad. So yes, good will find you. But there's a supernaturalness inside you as a black person that you're not tapping into. Wow. Um, another thing, um, I mean sex. Mm. Hip-hop fucked me up so much that I really thought I wanted to fuck every girl in the world. Yeah, same here. You know what I mean? I've but, tried, but I couldn't finish uh, it. You know what I mean? But when I learned later how I damaged my energy and myself, by, by listening and trying to become hip-hop. What they did with hip-hop is also fuckery. When they realized the power that hip-hop had. Because when it started, it was a movement to build black people and build black yeah. economy and build black uh, liberty. Scoop. Yes, yes. But hey, scoop with the scoop, man. Stop playing. And to become hip-hop. What they did with hip-hop is also fuckery when they realized the power that hip-hop had because when it started it was a movement to build black people and build black yeah. economy and build black uh liberty yes yes but then when the jews and the record company and record industry came into it they made it gangster now it's selling drugs mm. now it's because they know and how many times you've heard that that phrase six cells you know what i'm saying mm, mm. this and i can i can see that a lot of people are seeing it in my life because a lot of people are saying yo man we seeing you change. We seeing you becoming this person. We always knew you. Share some be, of that knowledge, just a little but bit. You, the melanin part is big. Yeah, I like that. Um, I never knew that. Part. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it's huge. Mm. Um, and melanin is more than just a color. It's really something that dances to the frequency of the universe. I went to Kurumani. I went to go see. I have not told anybody this, mm. but I might as well tell you guys now. 
Myself, I pulled Black Coffee along, I pulled Nelson Makamo along, and I did We went to go see Credo Mutua. That was also amazing, mm. the amount of knowledge that he shared with us, uh, being in his sixth stage as well. So the melanin, it's, it's really a frequency. So the earth doesn't understand language. Mm. The earth only understands frequency. Mm. And That's vibes. why your thoughts are very important. Jeez. Your thoughts become things. Mm. There's a saying in Vanak, umlomo uyadala. Then the secret comes along years later and goes, yeah, say it into existence. Mm. These are true, honest things. And everything that exists that white people have formed, religion, law, mm. d- uh, 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 democracy, everything that exists was started by us. We were the first people. That's... So everything you see was jacked from you. Mm. There's no such a thing that black people couldn't swim. But they've taken this knowledge, then they've turned it mm. so much. Even with religion, they removed your ancestors mm. Mm. and say, you mustn't talk to your ancestors. Mm. Your ancestors are there, just like you have angels. You do have ancestors as well. Mm. But now, and then they've changed the color of this person that you're praying to. Then you're also praying to him in English. Mm. So yes, you're doing the right thing. Yes, you're living in a good way. The only law that you're actually tapping into is the law of karma. Because of you not obeying all these Christian laws, you're not doing anything bad. So yes, good will find you. But there's a supernaturalness inside you as a black person that you're not tapping into. Wow. Um, another thing, um, I mean sex. Mm. Hip-hop fucked me up so much that I really thought I wanted to fuck every girl in the world. Yes, yeah. You know what I mean? I've but, tried, but I couldn't finish uh, you know what I mean? But when I learned later how I damaged my energy and myself, by, by listening and trying to become hip-hop. What they did with hip-hop is also fuckery. When they realized the power that hip-hop had. Because when it started, it was a movement to build black people and build black yeah. economy and build black uh, liberty. Yes, yes. But then when the Jews and the record company and record industry came into it, they made it gangster. Now it's selling drugs. No. Now it's, because they know. And how many times have you heard that, that phrase, sex sells? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who, who, who created that? that? Who coined that? You get what I'm saying? It's the record company. Yeah, exactly. It's the entertainment yeah. industry. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm. Um, yo, and the, I mean, Hollywood is also a big part of it. Do you know that the word Hollywood, it's actually a tree. A holly tree is, it's, that's make, it's, it's, Used to make the wands of witches and wizards mm. So hence They're casting spells with these movies Wow This and is this... real shit yeah, dude, And people don't that's... understand Why they are Wow And people don't understand why they're addicted And they, they, they brainwashing us man That's why I don't watch movies and stuff Well I try not to I, It's our older ones But man This is crazy man He Hey scoop with the scoop for real. Mm. So hence, they're casting spells with these movies. Shit. This and is this... real shit. Yeah, dude. And people don't understand why they are in the positions that they are in and why they can't solve their fucking problems. Is because they are being bamboozled in the worst fucking way. Uh... The truth is there. It's on the internet. But motherfuckers don't know where to look. And the truth is so hard to take in sometimes. And you have to change the way you're living. Wow. You know? Uh, Credo Muta was saying, like, black people, if you had to trace your 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 lineage, because as, uh, uh, like, for me, Mkosa, Koko is in the is Duko. Is Duko is all the other names and all the other people that came before you. So, Dilipele, Ulanga, Umafu, Utunta, Ukubon, Untabezita, Ilanga, Lokulunga, Akumyama Tandiko, Diamba, Nabatobe Mali, Onondanda wow. So what this now listen to this. Mm. In my name, Bele is a name. Langa is the sun. Mafu is the sky and clouds. Onda is a name, but I it's I think it's like a mountain top, a peak. Okay. Ndabezita is a huge mountainous range. That you can't see over or walk around. In Dabezita. It's also the greeting that's used for the Zulu king. Mm. Uh, the son of righteousness. It is never dark when you are around. This is in my name. So if you don't know yourself, mm. you can't access this knowledge. No, you can't. 
So whenever I'm in a fuck up position, I just go say my name. Hmm. And I'm like, my nigga, you got this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oamba. No, 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 no. Oh, no, is I always do my own will. I don't need anybody else's go ahead. Anybody say so. I roll with people that love to be exalted. And they always rolling with the doctors of money. Yeah, this is in my name. And every person, black guy, has this. But if you're going to try to be American, you're never going to be able to access that. So every time they don't have that. No, they don't. They wish they did. Yeah. Every time I pray, those are the things I have to mention first. And then after that, I have to go to Musia Bonga, Ozalong Uzuelaki, Ozalong Umfazu, Ozalong Ukunya, Ozalong Utam Sang, Ozalong Umwegaz, and Shabin was a Fenian Mosha. Now, this is me saying where my I come from, my dad, who comes from this, the name of him, Umfazu, mm. Ozalong Ukunya. You know what I mean? You're tracing back the lineage. And it even stretches far back. Um, after Ngwegazi, there's more. And then I have to go to my mother's side. Umama wamgu, mamtecha, ushabi, mamtecha, umshanchen jovu. Ku ozalangu no kaka, from Somerset East. This, and even when you go see a Sangoma, they never tell you about your future. They're always telling you about what you need to fix in your past. Because your past is so important. So these are the big shits about, about, about life, man, you know? Fuck And I was saying that to say this. Credo was saying he loved me doing that. And also being that I'm a young kid, you know, and I'm so interested in culture. And he's like, do you know that if you... If you know all the names and you trace them back, it would lead straight up to Kamata, who is the first god. Wow. That's the name of God in Kosa is Kamata. Mm. Tito. He's like, your lineage would go all the way up to the Josephs in the Bible, the Moseses, all these people. Because black people, in essence, we all related. Yes, yes, yes. That's it's crazy, man. Yeah. So you're saying, how did... Um, how fucked up is sex? What are you saying about sex? Sex is a big thing, man. Yeah. Energy. 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 Okay. It's a, it's a, it's so I'm a transferring thing. energy. And you're getting some. Mm. So maybe a girl is sleeping with somebody that's not cool. Mm. It's the most sacred thing ever. And that's why they're trying to make it to be this thing that is frivolous. This shit of threesomes, you know, I, I love threesomes. You know what I'm saying? But that shit ain't cool. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because... He's speaking facts, he's speaking facts. You know what I'm saying? But that shit ain't cool. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because in Dhaka, with the school. it's a very sex is a very sacred thing, my nigga. For real, dog. Yeah, it's very sacred, bro. I mean it, it comes, it brings life, dog. Hmm. Anything that brings life is fucking amazing and sacred. It's not so, masturbation is not like it's not cool. Mm. You know what I mean? What's wrong with masturbation? When you masturbate, do you know that the thoughts you have in your mind go all the way down and those thoughts affect your sperm? So if you're watching porn, yeah. your sperm, you're perverting it. And then you're masturbating and then you're just chucking it out there. Whereas if you are in love with someone, connecting with someone, your sperm can feel that and it becomes a non toxic sperm. What if it's a video that I made? My own porn. <laughs> this nigga Frank is wild. Um, it's just masturbation is you you know what? Because if you really understood the life juice that is semen, you don't want to spill liquor, do you? Mm. Why would you spill life juice? Mm. For just the sake of spilling it. No, but as a man, sometimes you gotta yank one out, bruh. That's what you've been told, Galoko, mm. Mac G. Mm. And that's what you want to do. Mm. Because life is two things. There's the carnal side, mm. which is flesh. Mm. Then mm. there's the spiritual side. Mm. The carnal side always wants to fulfill itself. But fulfilling yourself is not what you were put here for. But you're now living in a world where they... Hey, y'all hear this free game. Scoop with the scoop. Hashtag scoop with the scoop, man. Mm. The carnal side always wants to fulfill itself. But fulfilling yourself is not what you were put here for. Well, we here for God. But you're now living in a world where they're telling you it's all about fulfilling your needs. Obey your thirsts. And it's life is not about that. 
Life is about restraint. Life is about fasting from your thirst. Life is about swimming in your soul and not indulging in your flesh. Shit. Hey, you got me all fucked up, dog. Trust me, but I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Dude, I thought I was going to come here and talk about your radio show. <laughs> talk about your I'm with you, dog. Like, Yo. this shit is tough, man. It, it's tough. And I'm the kind of person when I, if I know something mm. and I know that it's to tr- is to be true, it's hard for me to neglect it. It's hard for me to not walk in because the Lilanga look longer. I have to follow my name. That's why we're giving the names that we are given as black folk. We live up to our names. We don't have names with no meaning. Hmm. And everything that we need, us black people are never going to get right until we go back to those core values. Yeah. yeah. I saw the slogan. Yeah. Nothing is going to happen. Our politics are not going to be right. Our families are not going to be right. It's never going to be okay with us until we acknowledge the fact that we have strayed so profusely far from the path. Fucking hell. Dude, I don't even have a question anymore, bro. <laughs> Dog. You know? It's not all got a question. It's crazy, no my nigga. It's really, really crazy. And also having a son, you know, realizing that my dad gave me this knowledge. I have to pass it down. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. what are you going to teach him? You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Yeah. Like, I'm already on it, you know? Yeah. I'm already telling my nephews about these things. I'm sending them books. I'm giving them things to read, you know? Letting them know about all When, when you tell people this, like what you just told me, like, people think you're crazy. Or like, I don't talk to people about these mm. things. So I'll tweet it on my timeline. Mm. Um, I'll, Why I'll, don't you, though? Because people are the way they are. Mm. And if you tell them, it's different, but if you show them by living, ah, it, I, also telling them it's like it's more preachy and Christian like, mm, and I don't right. like that. Yeah, I sort of like that. So too, they yeah. must be attracted to it because they're like, damn dog, like you really, really like living a different life and it's working out. What are you on? And then yeah, the niggas not the mm, the niggas not used to that. And that's what it is. Like uh, you already said, like you really living a different life, nigga. What you want? Niggas is not used to that, man. It's awkward. It's different. People is just not used to that. Like so too, they yeah. must be attracted to it because they're like, damn, dog, like you really, really like living a different life and it's working out. What are you on? And then, and then you're going to mm, unravel for them. So that's my big uh, part of it. But I, you know. I'm um, giving them things to read, you know, letting them know about all When, when you tell people this, like what you just told me, like, people think you're crazy. Or like, I don't talk to people about these mm. things. So I'll tweet it on my timeline. Mm. Um, I'll, Why I'll, don't you though? Because people are the way they are. Mm. And it's, if you tell them, it's different. But if you show them by living ah. it. I, also telling them it's like it's more preachy and Christian like, mm, and I don't right. like that. Yeah, I sort of like that so too. So they yeah. must be attracted to it because they're like, damn dog, like you really, really like living a different life, and it's working out. What are you on? And then, and then you're mm, going, you unravel for them. So that's, that's my big part of it. But I, you know, I'm a insta. I'm I'm live and like uh, talking up scoop with scoop shit and like showing them the books that I'm reading. So, so yeah, I don't like talking about it much because I, I want them to, to see it in my life. Yeah. So, also you're still masturbating, though? No, I still masturbate. Oh, okay. But, I mean, I, I'm not perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm not perfect. I try very hard not to. Mm, it's tough. Man. It's tough. I mean, Cape Town, I was in Cape Town, now my girl wasn't around. Mm. I porn hubbed it. <laughs> you know? I porn hubbed it. I yanked one out. You know what I mean? Uh, you changed your eating habits, yeah? Yeah, I, I changed it, man. I stopped eating meat, stopped eating dairy. I don't think I can do that, bro. I, I, hear, I hear everything that you're saying. Mm. For me, I think that'll be tough, man. McG, what the fuck isn't tough that's worthwhile, brother? Grow out of this bullshit. Mm. You know, nice. what isn't tough, dog? What nice. isn't tough? Mm. You know what I mean? So, if you know, if you realize... See, with the food... One. Milk. We are the only mammals that consume another mammal's milk. We say for the point of growing bones, but we fully developed and we're still drinking cow's milk. Mm. A cow will not drink chicken's milk, mm. even if it is a calf. Mm. That's one. Two, they tell you to eat meat for protein. The strongest animals, elephant, baboon and apes, even cows, no, eat me. they eat grass. Mm. And then you're going to go kill the animal. You're getting actually... A watered down version of the protein mm. thirdly 
the way they are making meat these days. Because the population on the earth is more, yeah. they need to now mm. satisfy mm. this meat need, right? Mm. But you know what they're doing? They're injecting them with steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The calf is, is born, immediately they inject them with steroids. So instead of waiting seven years for this calf to actually reproduce again, it now gets seven years in three years mm. because of these steroids. Yeah. So that fucks up the meat. Yeah. I, and I then, just want to meet the man. Yeah, yeah. and Stoop then you go Stoop. eat that. Water. There's something in your brain called a pineal gland. It's actually the third eye. Egyptians knew this. That eye of Egypt, actually, if you cut, if you cross section your brain, you can see that eye inside your brain, and that's where the pineal gland is. Mm. Now they they put fluoride, which is a byproduct of all this chemical bullshit. They put fluoride in our water. They put fluoride in our toothpaste. Do you know what fluoride does? What? It calcifies. It inside pineal gland. You have and and your pineal gland is your third eye. They doing this shit on purpose. Fuck me. Scoop. They are doing, and that's why. This nigga, his third eye is open. He's intelligent, man. This is crazy, man. This is the end of it, man. Let's go on and get this wrapped up. But this shit true, man. For real. This this scoop with the scoop. This is all facts, no joke. Gland, you can say beans, and your pineal gland is your third eye. They doing this shit on purpose. Fuck me. They are doing, and that's why niggas want to do the right thing, but they don't know. They don't have the guts. They don't have, because somebody is busy fucking with you in the worst way. So I changed, man. I, you know, the information right. definitely changed me. And I, ever since then, bro, like... You got information and you choose to still continue. You know, it's, it's a different story. You yes, know? sir. Yes, sir. But we don't, we're not privy to this information. Most... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's on the tube. It's on... It depends on the accounts you follow yeah, as yeah, well, you know? Yeah. So, my nigga, it's crazy. Shit, dude, we could chat about this the whole day. The whole sadly, day. I've got 60 seconds left, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Uh, you know, TV production, you still, yeah. you still with... Uh... No, I am not. Oh, you're not? Okay, okay cool. Uh, we'll talk about that. you got to come no, back, dude. Let's go on, let's get it, man. The legendary episode, episode 36, podcast and chill with our boy, Mac D. Throwback with our boy Scoop up on that, man. I really enjoyed this episode, y'all. I see why a lot of you guys uh, get to it, man. For real, for real, man. I'm happy I did, man. This should be coming out to y'all Monday. Uh, Monday morning, hopefully, if not Monday night, y'all. Simple as that, man. Because I just got off a 12-hour shift and had to get this knocked out. Because I know I owed it to you guys. And I just want to tell y'all I appreciate y'all so much. This video just was just... This is a legendary video. This is so different because the amount of knowledge and information this young man holds. He's knowledgeable, man. Knowledge is the key. Knowledge is the new wealth, man. Knowledge is everything. And he got so much of it, man. Everything he said is real. So, and he got a dope-ass sense of humor, man. Had me laughing, had me rolling, man. He's unique, man. And I see why all you guys said, do the scoop episode. Do the scoop episode. Episode 36 is one of my favorite episodes. It should be. But what we need to be doing... It's taking this knowledge that he's talking about and applying it in our real life, for real. Applying it to ourselves, Getting this knowledge, man, because they're not going to tell us, man. Simple as that, man. And holding each other accountable and holding yourself accountable. Simple as that. But I have nothing to say other than I really enjoy this, man. He, he's unique, man. I got a lot of digging to do. Y'all get his age in the comments, man. I got a lot of digging to do on him, man, because he's unique, man. I actually want to follow him on different social medias and different things like that because his personality and his brain, man, what he's talking about is so for real. We don't really know, man. They really brainwashing us. And I'm tapping into all the things he's talking about right now. So that's why I'm just so blessed and thankful you guys asked me to react this episode and allow me to chill with y'all and watch these episodes back with y'all, man. So let's go and let's get it, man. I have nothing else to say other than I really, 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 really enjoy this episode. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites because of the knowledge. Like, you can't beat knowledge, man. It's one of them I can watch back, play for other people. Like, I love it, man. So, let's go and let's get it, man. I have nothing to say other than I really do love it. Thank all y'all again. But do me a favor, please. If you watch this video to this point, hit that like button. If you knew you're not part of the team, not part of the energy, not part of the family, what are you doing? What you doing? Hit that subscribe button just to click the support. If you're part of the team, keep a smile on your face. Stay prayed up. Keep your faith up. Get the comments down below and know 
it all started up here. The thought, simple as that. But hey, y'all, I'm up out of here, guys. Have a blessed one.